All right, heart disease, which is um, a major problem in Western countries, developed countries, uh, it's the main cause of death, a, a problem with a heart, heart attack and heart failure. So it, it's a really important thing. The key to it all is if we were to look at a heart, I won't draw a cartoon on this time, it maybe looks something a bit like that. Notice the left side of my heart, this side is a bit thicker, okay? The, the heart itself has got these blood vessels called coronary arteries, okay? And they're the ones that supply the heart muscle itself, the actual heart with oxygen, uh, most importantly probably, and food like glucose, sugar. That's important for the energy, the oxygen's important so you can release the energy, okay? Now the coronary arteries, if we were to look at them, um, here we go, let's draw, here's a coronary artery, so I'm drawing this in the, I've expanded this, I've magnified it a lot. The problem with, with heart disease is all down to blood pressure, okay? All the things that we talked about, all the risk factors for heart attacks, things like smoking, alcohol, lack of exercise, um, high salt diet, genetic factors, all of these things really will can result in high blood pressure. And the problem is, as this artery, as it's getting the blood pumped through it, time and time again, if the blood pressure, if the pressure of the blood pushing through is too high, it can damage the inside of this um, artery. It can get it damaged, okay? Think of a hose pipe, I don't know, a rubber hose pipe, and if you're blasting loads and loads and loads and loads of water down it, the inside might start to wear away. So that's the problem with high blood pressure. As soon as it starts to wear away, you get a little, my phone's just going off, if you can hear that, you get a fatty deposit building up. And this is actually stuff that normally is, is carried in your blood anyway, but it doesn't build up. It's only when you've damaged the inside of that artery wall. So you get this sticky little buildup. And once you've got a bit of a sticky buildup, it keeps building up, okay? and we're now narrowing our artery. So it's getting harder and harder to push the blood through, which means it's even more blood pressure, even more danger of getting it, uh, of damaging the artery even further. Now the problem tends to come, if this just keeps building up, it gets harder and harder for the heart to, to pump blood through, and that's called heart disease, really. Um, the idea that this poor old heart muscle here isn't getting as much oxygen through, it's having to work harder and harder, okay? Don't, whatever you do, don't do this, but, um, if you've ever had the blood cut off through your finger, you know, you've sat there and wound an elastic band around it, something, and it starts to go blue, I do, I'll write this, don't do that at home. But if you can imagine, or if you saw me do it in the lesson, um, the end of my finger would kind of go blue, I'm cutting the blood off to it. Same thing is happening here. If that artery, if the blood can't get through, then my heart muscle would start to go um, a, a darker colour, it would be not getting enough oxygen and it wouldn't be very good for it at all. A heart attack is usually when you get a blood clot, so a big lump of kind of red blood cells and all kind of things that gets stuck in that gap, okay? Now these might be floating around all the way but if it comes across a bit where it can't get through that's when you have a sudden cut off and no more oxygen gets through and that will be the heart attack and that's one of the big problems. Treatment for it, you can actually get these arteries widened out. They, they basically stick a balloon in and inflate it. Um, you can have something called a bypass. So if we looked at it from the side, here's my artery. And I've got a big blockage in here. What you can do is you can get a section, it's usually a bit of vein actually, and they take it from your leg and they do that. They bypass the bit where there's the blockage, okay? So they can do that as well. Or you might, unfortunately, look at things like heart transplants with all the dangers that, that involves. Certainly drugs can help, things like aspirin, excuse me, um, can thin your blood out and make it easier for it to pass through. So that's one of the things you might know, older relatives and things who take aspirin every day. Um, as you get older, these blood vessels tend to get less stretchy anyways. The blood's normally pumping through. As you get older, it can't, pump, I can't, uh, sorry, can't, can't get any wider, it, your arteries are just not stretch anymore, so they won't stretch as much, and that tends to increase the blood pressure as well, so that's why a lot of older people take aspirin.